Princess Diana's relationship with Prince Charles was one of the most eagerly watched during its 15-year spell. The pair married in 1981 which began a relationship which at times, had the main focuses of the media in the UK. Following rumors of infidelity within the marriage, Charles and Diana divorced in 1996. Just a year later, Diana died in a car crash in Paris. Although she may not have been Charles's wife anymore, at the time of her death she caused huge emotional pain for the Prince of Wales. Writing in her book, The Queen and the, the Untold Story, Ingrid Seward spoke of how upon hearing of her death, the once composed Charles finally broke down. M. Seward wrote, Charles's composure collapsed and the tears which the public never saw started to flow. There had been times when Diana's behavior had driven him to such distraction that he declared her to be utterly mad. Confronted with the finality of her demise, however, the residue of bitterness was torn away, exposing the sensitivity which Diana had once found so attractive. Eight years following the death of Diana, Charles married Camilla Parker Bowles, now, Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. Although Camilla married Charles, one biographer has revealed that she never sought to replace his ex-wife at any point. Biography Penny Jr. explained, You want your mum, you don't want her, and she had her own family. As reported by International Business Times, Ems Jr. added, To be fair to Camilla, she never tried to be mummy, but she was the other woman and she was there and taking daddy's time. Through her marriage to Charles, Camilla could be addressed as Princess of Wales but she has rejected the option, with some suggesting this was because the title was associated so much with Diana. Camilla is referred to as Duchess of Rothsey while in Scotland. Even Prince Harry has called for the public to be more sympathetic to his stepmother.